thanks for watching so today's video is a tour of the small bathroom renovation and this project has been a secondary project that's why it's taken me so long to get this video up the nursery came first and outdoor projects came first there were so many things that were a lot more important than this so it's finally done I'm going to show you the finished project I really hope I can find some before photos I'm going to put in as many photos of the process and before as I can find um, I've been looking for before photos and honestly I haven't found any yet but I'm gonna try really hard because it is so much worse than the other bathroom that we did which that video by the way I will link below it's super thorough and in-depth it shares the whole process like start to finish ripping things out installing new things everything so if you want a whole process i will link that video below this one is the ideas or like ideas i want to share with you and the after and i know a lot of you guys are either first time home buyers or planning to buy a house soon or in like fixer upper mode this house was definitely a fixer upper so i hope that you find this helpful i will link as much stuff below as i can that i think you'll ask questions about please give this a like if you enjoy it please subscribe if you're new and let's get started I'm going to start with the vanity side and I did not pick out anything in this bathroom. This is my husband's bathroom. His name is Chad if you're new here so that's what I'm talking about throughout the video. Um, the only thing I asked was please keep the fixtures consistent throughout like the finishes I should say. So everything in here he picked out himself and it can be brighter but it has a fan. And that light that's in the shower, I will get to that side. So I'm not gonna have that on because that would be very annoying for you. I believe this is from Home Depot. I will try and put like the sizes too. This is a small bathroom, guys. Like this is this side. And then this is the shower side with the fan light. Um, and there was absolutely nothing here before. This basically was the ugliest bathroom you've ever seen. It was dark purple and orange and this was not here it had a water hookup like there were pipes back there for a water hookup for either a shower or a washing machine but there was absolutely nothing on this side it was just like really huge and inconsistent floor tiles i don't know where they got the floor tiles but they didn't even match at all and i do have to get some baskets for under there and then we are going to switch out um the light switches we've been switching all the light switches in the house to like the wider way more modern style so that's like the only two things that are left in here but i was not about to wait to film this video because i feel like you guys have been waiting for it forever and we bought this mirror on amazon i will link it for you i think it has like a few options for the finishes but it's basically an invisible style mirror it doesn't have a frame and it only has the two things on the side I tried to talk him into a cute one from Home Goods, but I was not gonna push it. What I really like about this vanity is the storage. I think like the basket space underneath or towels, whatever you want to do is really nice. But inside of here, it has a drawer and then this pulls out. So how nice is that? Oh, there's a bunch of papers and manuals. And then there are three drawers over here. I didn't even look to see what was in here. A mouth thing, his glasses, toothbrush. Um, hair stuff and our shaver thing and oh that's the light switches that he's switching out so it has a lot of storage for a small vanity for sure I'm almost positive that the faucet came with it too if not I will link it separately and above the toilet is this caddy I left this exactly how Chad filled it up and I thought it was hilarious that he even filled it up like this in the first place so this is his setup there's two hand towels right here um, face towels and a candle, which I lit the candle for the video, very extra, but it gives you the feel in here. And then he put a ton of extra toilet paper up top. This toilet, by the way, is the same one that's in the other bathroom. It's a really good deal. I think it's like $100 and it looks very similar to all of the expensive ones that were at Home Depot for way less money. So if you need like a new toilet, as random as it is, if you're doing a bathroom project, I will link it. It's a good one. And then this is the toilet paper holder that he chose and it has a smartphone holder right here. I feel like every guy in the whole world would pick that one. So yeah, that's what he has there. And then a towel bar here um, for a bunch of towels all rolled up. The hooks that we have in here are the same hooks that are in the other bathroom. It's a champagne bronze in there and then 
I don't know what this color is called, but I will link it for you. It's all like a flat silver color. I'm going to turn off this fan in five seconds, but I wanted to show you what the shower looks like with the fan light on in there. So it is the same, or no, that's the wrong light. We have the exact same system in the other bathroom, but that bathroom is a tub, so it's the same until you get to the bottom. This obviously is a shower, and then it's called the Upstyle, and again, I will link it. We did this in the other bathroom. I worked with Home Depot on that project. I didn't work with them on this bathroom. We bought everything ourselves, but this was so easy to install in that bathroom that we went with it again. And I think it's an awesome option. It's definitely a great, like, affordable option. It's not going to cost you as much as having to tile an entire bathroom. It goes directly on the studs, too. A lot of people thought we didn't waterproof correctly in that video. I promise you we did. We talked to experts and professionals and all of that, and they told us everything was done correctly. So it is very easy if you are an amateur and you have some help. We did end up putting the handle over here. Apparently, that's, like, the new way of doing doing things um, with houses that are being built now like they're doing that that way because you can turn the water on without being inside of it yet and so it can warm up before you get in and it won't hit you I don't know that's a new thing so we went with it <laughs> of course he has his squeegee thing in here and the only thing that you do it's three walls for the Delta up style it comes in two sizes for the shower version this is the larger size the only thing you have to do is tile and then you seal the edges and this is basically like a plasticky thing it's not actually subway tiles but it looks so much nicer than those flat walls so that is why we went with that and then the shower door is also that flat silver color and in the other bathroom we added tile up here as well we didn't do it in this one here's his shower head and then everything on his caddy is basically stuff i didn't want or stuff from Dollar Shave Club. He's always been obsessed with them. And we're lucky that Chad's dad literally knows everything about houses. So he helped with the plumbing stuff because again, the plumbing was already here, but there had to be like a pop or a pop, what am I saying? A pipe that was brought over for the shower head. So yeah, like that hard stuff that you need someone who knows what they're doing for, he did. And Chad was able to do a lot of the other things like the tiling and the flooring and all of that but if you guys are on a budget or if you want to do as much yourself as you can look into this shower system because it is so much easier and more affordable than almost anything else the very last thing is the floor tile i will get up close but i wanted to show you it's the same thing in the shower it looks so much darker in here because of the lighting if that fan light was on then you would be able to see it a little more similar but the grout color is really light gray it's the same thing that's on here and we did buy this at home depot so i will link it for you very neutral and pretty and we looked on pinterest and it said like one of the first tips to make a small bathroom appear a little larger is very small tiles so that is why we went with that option one more overview of everything before I end the video. And if you guys are trying to save money and do something like this yourself, you totally can. Of course, you will need help with the plumbing and any electrical if you need to do that. That stuff is scary. Definitely don't recommend anyone wing those kind of things, but anyone can install tile. It was Chad's first time installing tile in the other bathroom video. And he said it was so easy in here with this kind of tile. Um, so yeah, it's really not that crazy. Of course, these things do take time, but you can do it for a lot less money than hiring it all out if that's what you want to do or need to do. So that is everything. And that completes this video, guys. I hope that you found it helpful. I hope I gave you some good ideas. I hope I helped you save money potentially or anything like that. If I did, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you in my internet fam here. We have so much fun. Um, so much stuff is linked below for you guys too. Anything I think I will get a question about, I try and link to save you time and typing and waiting for a response and all of that. So thanks for watching and I will see you right here in a few days in a brand new video. Bye!